guys, it's Rach and we have come to the start of April. April is one of my favourite months because it is my birthday month and it's Easter and for this April I'm going to be spending the last two weeks of it in LA so I'm so incredibly excited for that but before we get into April I thought it'd be fun for me to share some of my random favourites, my obsessions from the month of March. So let's start with book favourites because you know what, I like to do things differently and this month we're going to change it up. So the first favourite is one that I actually read probably a couple of months ago or not maybe at the start of last month or the end of the month before and somehow forgot to mention it in last month's favourites. So it 100% deserved a mention. It is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I've been talking about wanting to read this book for so long but if you know me, if you've watched any of my videos before, you've probably heard me say I don't like to cry. I don't like books that make me cry, I don't like movies that make me cry, and by golly did this one make me cry. I was on the train <laughs> listen, like reading the end of this bawling my eyes out. I'm pretty sure the person next to me thought that I had lost my mind, but it was a beautiful story. I really wanted to read it before the movie comes out, which I think comes out sometime mid this year. and. If you like reading, if you like books, if you like stories at all, then I would recommend reading this story. I will talk about it more in a book chat video, but I just it deserved a mention because it is awesome. The other couple of books that I wanted to mention for this month are on my Kindle app, which I'm just going to bring up. I have it here. I, I read the majority of my books on my phone or on my iPad. It's just more convenient for me. And with somebody who reads three, four books a week, um, it's just a lot easier for me to be able to download the next book that way. Two ones that stand out from this month, the end of the month of March, but still March. The first one is Fatal Jeopardy by Marie Force. I feel like I mentioned her quite a bit. I've mentioned her recently in either book chats or favourites, but she's a fantastic author. Fatal Jeopardy is a book in a series that's been going on for quite a while now. I don't know if it's the seventh book seventh ninth book I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure but i've read all of them i love them i love sam and nick the main two characters in this book and what i love about this series is that it's an adult romance novel that every single book concentrates on the same couple which is kind of rare because usually each book in a series will concentrate on a new couple this is like a really in-depth story that follows sam and nick who are some fantastic characters i love sam i think she's so sassy and i love nick i wish he existed in real life would highly recommend it if you enjoy contemporary romance novels this, these ones have drama and a little bit of suspense in it because sam is a lieutenant or a um in with the police force so she there's a lot of like crime and murder mystery kind of stuff that's linked into the book even though like i said it is definitely a romance novel um, and you, the characters are all fantastic would highly recommend the series go back and read the first one if you haven't read don't start at this one because it just just don't read books from the start of the series <laughs> the other book that i wanted to mention is twisted by emma chase this one comes after i think the first book was called tangled i'm pretty sure i yes the tangled series i read tangled quite a while ago it was narrated by a guy and this book follows on, um, I think, two years post that story. And this time it's narrated by the heroine of the story. And it's really, really um, funny, well-written, witty, kind of dry, sarcastic humour. Really, really sassy characters, the both of them. I would highly recommend Tangled and Twisted. Definitely an adult romance novel. Um, so not for people under... I, I don't even like to put an age on it, but... Generally, unless I say otherwise, I would say like 16, 17 up. You, you know what you're able to read. It's definitely covers adult themes, but highly, highly recommend it. Great for a laugh, great for a romance novel. Um, yeah, really, really enjoy those books. So now that I've blabbed way too long about books, I'm going to talk about a food favourite. <gasps> Guys, if you have not tasted the Adriana Zumbo Special Edition salted caramel tim tams you are missing out in life seriously you will not be happy until you've tried those i love them so much that i don't even have them here to show you because i can't keep them in my hot little hands long enough they just they disappear i will insert a photo of them here because that is all i can do i do have one of the other sets so i can show you this is his limited edition chocolate brownie flavor you get five biscuits in a pack 
For those of you who don't know what Tim Tams are, because I'm pretty sure they're fairly Australian specific, but I know a lot of American celebrities come here and then love them and like get them shipped to America because I love them so much. Tim Tams are a chocolate biscuit or chocolate cookie. For those of you in the UK, I believe they're kind of similar to penguin biscuits, but um, these are probably better. I don't know. Anyway, they look like this. The chocolate brownie flavour is nice, but not as good as the salted caramel. If you like caramel and salted caramel flavours, you get salty and sweet. Get your hands on them now. I'm going to buy up, like, I don't know, 20 packets of them. <laughs> Five biscuits is just not enough. And if these go out of stock, I'm, I'm going to cry. For a fashion favourite of the month, I have been loving my One Face watch. I believe I've spoken about One Face watches on Instagram before, but not in a video. These are a charity product. They're a watch. You can get them in a multitude of colours, and the colours are based on a particular cause that they are supporting. I believe they're about $40, and then it, they do ship internationally, but shipping is about $20. I love this because not only is it a stylish watch, but it's also supporting a really, really good cause and fashion mixed with charity is, I think, is a great way to go about raising money for different things. The white one that I have on here is for hunger and this one helps, it says you fed 16 children in the Horn of Africa. So this one helped feed 16 children. I also have a red one which supports AIDS and it's not just an amount of money, it actually tells you what it does. So this one in particular helped paid for eight AIDS treatment or AIDS treatment for eight patients. So I think it's fantastic. There's ones for um, breast cancer, for education, for water, um, for sustainability in the environment, a whole host of other causes and I think they make a great gift or something a great way if you want to support a particular charity or support a particular cause and you don't quite know how to do it something like this is a really really great thing it does have a mirror face so I can actually look at it and it's a decent like I mean I could apply my lip gloss and apply eyeshadow out of this mirror and then it's a digital watch so if I push the button sorry this is going to throw my camera out but there is a a clock that comes up on the screen just by pushing the button there so you can see the time as well and the date. I have been obsessed with a particular app game this month and I've mentioned it before but I've been playing it non-stop again and it is Minion Rush. I love Minion Rush. If you really enjoy Temple Run then I think you'll enjoy this game and if you love Despicable Me and the Minions then I would highly recommend this. It's just fun. It is a time waster but if you if you like to procrastinate this is your game as always I like to share some music favorites with you guys and this month I've had quite a few new ones I admit that probably the top of my list is listening to the Frozen soundtrack yes I am one of those people that really really love Frozen and I can belt out let it go or do you want to build a snowman or just any I just I love I love the music I don't even know why I know it's made for kids and I'm about to turn 25 but I love it. I've also been really enjoying Summer and Thinking About You by Calvin Harris, um, Free by Rudimental, Undressed by Kim Cesarian, Cesare, I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Paradise by Jess Penner, which is the song that I used at the start of my recent Get Ready With Me video. A lot of you guys were asking about that. I did list it in the description box. I try and list the music that I use in the description box, so definitely check that out loved that song and would highly recommend her music. A really nice new find for this month that I really enjoyed. And the last one is Slice of Heaven by Dave Dobbin. This is an old, old song that for some reason I heard recently on the radio, I think, and I just have been addicted to listening to it. I can just hit it on repeat and I think the, the guy's from New Zealand, so totally random. I did play it as, as a joke on the end card of one of my videos recently because I was just addicted to it and somebody did notice that I put like this really old song on so high five if that was you. So they are my music obsessions for the month of March and then last but not least I wanted to mention a video that has recently been going around. I have seen it pop up on my Facebook feed quite a bit and I have become obsessed with watching it. I have watched it, I don't know, like 20 times at least since I first saw it. It's from a comedian. I believe his name is Chris Delia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've seen him before. I didn't know his name, but I know that I've seen him pop up before. And it's him talking about 
drunk girls. We made it! <laughs> Woo! We did it! We made it! Ooh, ooh! Now, kids, I truly believe in drinking responsibly, but his video on this, it goes for about six minutes, is hilarious. Guess what? You do the math. <laughs> his impersonations of drunk girls or stereotypical drunk girls is so funny. He also talks about drunk guys as well. Okay, bro, get my things! <laughs> Nobody move! And it's just the, the way that his observations and the way that he reenacts them and the way that he talks. I love this song! I love Rihanna! I love Rihanna! I'm Rihanna! I was laughing so much that I was crying the first time that I watched this, so I would highly recommend the video. I will link it in the description box below because if you want a giggle for today, check it out. Stick on this video first until I'm finished, then check it out. You won't be disappointed. So guys, that is it. That is everything that I've been obsessed with for the month of March. As always, share what you've been loving in the description box below so I can check it out. It can be random songs, books, music, why do I always say songs and music? They're the same thing, Rachel. Anyway, books, clothing items, food. I'd love to hear your food favorites or app favorites. Share them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because it really does help my channel out. And give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this type of video. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys all in my next video coming very, very, hopefully very soon. Bye. <laughs>